Good morning, good evening, hello, how are you doing? I'm very excited to do this one, but um, I like this <clears throat> view a lot better than the one um, with the wall, like facing the wall or whatever, but with the wall behind me, but I, I like hesitate to do this one because, you know, the dogs be coming out, man. <laughs> yeah, my back turned to the motherfucking dogs, man, so <clears throat> where they used to be coming from, so I wanted to read this one. And this is kind of why it got me thinking about a, a bunch of stuff, but like, um, one thing, like, you know, um, <clears throat> having multiple wives and stuff like that. And just, um, just barely, just read, just, I, um, I just read this actually just to myself like five minutes ago, so it's kind of going to be repetitive to me, but anyway, um, <clears throat> I'll read it again. Um, it seems like everybody is looking for the black male. This is an excerpt from the book, Adam, Where Are You? Why most black men don't go to church. Um, that's what's up, though. Um, Jawanza Kanjupi, forwarded by Reverend Dr. Jeremiah A. Wright, Jr. And Dr. Er Jer Jeremiah A. Wright, Jr. actually um, preached at Friendship West. Like, it was like, not last Sunday, but two, two Sundays ago. And then my dad mentioned he was in his book a lot. He, he, he was in his book or whatever. So, But um, anyway, it seems like everyone's looking for the black male. Black women are looking for a good black man to marry. Black children, especially black boys, I know that, but are looking for black men to nurture them and give them a sense of direction. Black schools are looking for dedicated and consistent African-American men to volunteer for role model and rites of passage programs. While many employers have very little interest in people of color, and those who do realize that they could hire a black woman to satisfy, you feel me, both race and gender quotas. There are some companies, such as my own, that are looking for African American men who are skilled, articulate, and dependable. The black church is also looking for African American men. I hope I brought my lighter. Excuse me, but let me go over here, over here. Anyway, I know I brought my. I know I messed up my lighter. So, you know, what you doing? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I can't really. But honestly, like when I after I, when I was like when I put it, when I put the book down for a second, I actually read like up to the part I'm gonna read to right now. You know, like my heart was I was heartfelt, like. sense of emotion came over me, like, a tear dropped my eye, the tear didn't drop, but, you know, like, that's how I felt, you know, so, um, the following are two short stories from an African-American woman and an African-American pastor, both looking for Adam, the original black man. Jackie was everything that a black man could possibly want in a black woman. It's crazy, right? She was the pride of her parents' eyes, and she was very pleased with herself. Jackie had begun to worry. She had played it by her parents' rules, having gone to elementary school, high school, and college, graduating with 3.5 GPA. She even listened to her parents and went straight to graduate school rather than going to work in, a corp in corporate America. At that time. She secured a, BM, a MBA, Master's in Business Administration, at age 24, but now at 34, she still hadn't found a man. <clears throat> she had read Juanza Kunjafi's book, The Power, Passion, and Pain of Black Love, and Larry David's book, Black and Single. She had even tried to implement many of the strategies of these two authors. She tried to convince brothers that they didn't need to have the same educational background that she did, nor did they have to make as much money as she did when a girl girl wants a brother with the same um, educational, well not the same, but you know, a, well, never mind, but <laughs> a bachelor's. But anyway, F that shit. Let me stop playing. But anyway, um, uh, I lost my place. I'll fall. 
gotta be aware about this little thing. Hold on. No, no, I'm saying something. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna be, um, an arrogant prick right now. But um, anyway, I'm gonna keep reading. You know what I'm saying? Aloud. I mean, fuck that shit. But, um, so anyway, let me read. Um, I don't know where I'm at, honestly. I'm kind of not even feeling like reading no more because it's not a good time to read it, honestly. But I'll read it, yo. You feel me? Um, Larry Davis book, single. Um, authors. She tried to convince brothers that they didn't need to have the same educational background that she did, nor did they have to make as much money as she did. But for some reason, <clears throat> the brothers just did not want to hear that. All they saw was a sister who had a BA and an MB. Oh, MBA, I was like, <laughs> behind her name. To go along with her $50,000 salary. She was considered fine by most brothers, but some brothers were intimidated because they felt that a sister who looked as good as Jackie would be arrogant and conceited. So Jackie tried very hard to go down, no, tried not to go down, my fault, tried very hard to be as down to earth as possible, the type of person that a guy would want to talk to, a real sincere friend. Her last boyfriend had broken up with her because he was irritated by all the stares she got from other guys. He also questioned Jackie about what she saw in him and why she wanted to be with him. <laughs> That's crazy. She was crying as she told her pastor that her biological clock was running out and that she didn't want to adapt to adopt because she wanted to have a child of her own. My fault. It's not. I'm not reading it very um, enthusiastic because I don't even want to say why. But I'm, you know, I'm not really feeling like really good right now. But I figured it was a it was a powerful message. But um, forgive me for you know the lack of enthusiasm because yeah. Um, you know that the world always tries to drain your energy, nigga. So you know it's actually working right now. My my energy is being very really drained, and I don't really feel very enthusiastic whatsoever right now, but um, I don't really want to put this off, so I'm going to keep reading, although I'm probably doing it injustice because I could really, you know, really, um, it's, it's a really powerful message, but I really don't feel good at all right now because, you know, anyway, the world, you know, trying to bring me down and, you know, it's, it's informal, you know, anyway, so, um, yeah, um, she was crying and as she told her pastor that her biological clock was running out and she didn't want to adopt. She wanted a child of her own. She also didn't want to be a single parent. She wanted a husband to go along with her baby. And I don't know if you can hear me, honestly. I don't know if you can hear me. Was that too much to ask? Too much to ask to read a, you know, to read a, a good excerpt, you know what I mean? But, um, Lord, is that too much to ask? Not having sex before marriage was difficult at times. When the intensity of passion and romance were so deep. But she always carried God's word in her heart. Which strengthened her. I never would forget when one brother told me. Well, if you won't give it up, then someone else will. Jackie said, I hollered back. Then go get it. The sad thing is, he was right. Somebody else did give it up. I'm not asking for much, just a BMW, a black man who's working, is it too much to want a BME, a black man who's educated, or a BMC, a black man who's conscious, is it too much to want a BMF, a black man who's faithful, Lord, tell me, is it too much to ask for a BMS, a black man who saved the pastor continued to listen, as he has done in so many other similar situations. I was coming out here to, you know, be be like kind of, you know, um, respectful, but like I said, I'm about to be an arrogant prick, nigga. Like honestly, um, the pastor continued to listen as he did in similar situations. There is there is very little he could say because he knew 
all of her quest her requests were legitimate. Why shouldn't all black women have the opportunity to marry? Why shouldn't black women who love the Lord have the opportunity to marry someone who also loves the Lord? Why shouldn't every black woman who wants to have children have the opportunity within the context of being accepted by God? 